To improve the race, changes to the exhausts of Gen 3 supercars will be implemented gradually, starting this weekend's Ned Whiskey Tasmania Super Sprint. Chevrolet Camaros have options to run shortened exhaust tips on Simmons Plains starting tomorrow, and the change becomes mandatory at next Repco Supercars Championship event in Darwin's Hidden Valley. It is understood that modification, which was made to eliminate a danger that could tear tires, will also come to 11 Ford Mustangs on terrain in Hidden Valley. Tips on the Camaros, shortening them this weekend, and then shortening them for Darwin were optional, Red Bull Ample Racing Team Manager Mark Dutton told Speed Cafe. It's just to eliminate any chance of cutting tires. Obviously, the Mustangs need to do something similar. The new exhaust specification supports another subtle change found on Gen 3 race cars, namely the smaller lug nut introduced this year to eliminate the issue of interlocking wheels and thus encourage more side-by-side -side racing. Teams have also been given freedom to make more changes to gear lever towers after the breakouts at season's latest event at Wanneroo Raceway. Towers were an issue before and not all teams chose to buff it and further buffs or different versions were allowed, Dutton explained. Shifters were problematic on both fronts in Perth, with Shane Van Gisbergen of Triple Eight Race Engineering stuck in the downshift position during practice, and at least Truck Assist Racing's Cameron Hill experienced similar drama. This issue is still outstanding. It's really hard to isolate, because when you turn on the trans axis everything is fine, and when you check the whole mechanism, everything seemed fine. So it's a TB, we're still investigating. Said Dutton. Support categories continue today at Simmons Plains, and Practice 1 for the Supercars Championship course will begin tomorrow at 900 local time AEST. For this weekend's RJ Batteries event guide, 